Hello, my name is Dr Maud Cross. I am a Senior Biology Demonstrator in the School of Bees UCC. This is the first in a series of interactive videos which are being developed to enhance the learning experience of first-year biological students. Dissections are an important part of biological education. Here we will outline the major external and internal features of the rainbow trout Oncorhynchus mycus. This is the rainbow trout Oncorhynchus mycus. First we will examine the external features of the fish. Fish are covered in protective scales and are well adapted to the aquatic environment. This fusiform shape is a streamlined shape so the fish can move easily through the water. This lateral line, which is usually a silver or pinkish line of scales which runs the length of the body, is part of the sensory system and allows the fish to perceive vibrations of prey or predators in the water. There are six groups of fins on the rainbow trout. First on the top is the dorsal fin, the adipose fin, the caudal or tail fin, which is on the peduncle, the anal fin, and then the paired pelvic fins and pectoral fins. These paired fins allow for balance and act as hydrofoils to move within the water column. Movement of the caudal fin provides propulsion and forward movement of the fish. For the dissection, the fish is pinned to the board using awls. If you are left-handed, then the fish is in the correct position. If you are right-handed like me, you move the fish this way. When the fish is on the board in the correct direction, you use the pins. You put one pin through the caudal peduncle of the fish through to the board and you use the second awl to pin the fish by its head through the bottom of the jaw of the fish. This way the fish cannot slip while you are working on it. We will now examine the head of the rainbow trout. The eyes on either side allow for nearly 180 degrees of vision. The nares or nostrils are up here above the mouth. The mouth of the rainbow trout, opened, contains a rasping tongue and sharp teeth, which are adapted for the capture of food. The operculum is a semicircular flap of skin, which covers and protects the gills. Here we can see the gill arches, with gill rakers in front, which are used to sort prey items. The gill filaments and lamellae are filled with capillaries. Blood flowing through the capillaries pick up oxygen from the water. Before the dissection, make sure that the fish is pinned onto the board and it will not slip. Using a dissecting scissors, put one blade of the scissors into the cloaca or the vent and begin cutting along the body. Cut through the middle of the pelvic fins and forward to the head. While cutting, take care to point the scissors out of the body to avoid nicking any of the internal organs. This is a gravid female fish, full of eggs. Make sure that you can lift away the flesh from the side of the fish along the ventral cut. Behind the pectoral fin, cut through the muscle to the level of the lateral line and then cut from the vent upwards as well. This allows you to cut a section of the skin and underlying muscle away from the side of the fish, exposing the internal organs. The major organs of the rainbow trout are now visible. The swimmer air bladder is located at the top of the body cavity. This balloon-like organ is used for buoyancy and to regulate the fish's elevation in water. You then deflate the air bladder using the dissecting scissors. The dark organ found behind the swim bladder is the kidney. The kidney is an excretory organ and is filled with blood. This kidney runs from near the head along the length of the fish. Behind the kidney is the spinal cord, which runs the length of the fish from the head to the tail. The ovaries in this fish are filled with eggs. If it was a male fish, we would find pale coloured testes instead of ovaries. The liver is a large purple coloured organ where foods are metabolised. Behind the liver is the gallbladder, which produces bile to aid digestion of fats. The spleen is the only lymphoid organ found in bony fishes. We will now examine the digestive organs of the fish. When food is captured, it moves through the mouth to the muscular esophagus, which is located here. 
This is linked to the J-shaped stomach, which digests food. The stomach is connected to the intestine, where the digested food is absorbed. So food moves through the mouth into the esophagus to the stomach, onto the intestine and excreted as waste through the anus. Another important organ in the digestive system are the gastric or pyloric cecae. These finger-like projections produce digestive juices for the stomach. To access the heart, cut along the throat of the fish towards the base of the mouth. The heart of the fish is found in the pericardial cavity near the head, separate from the main body cavity. The atrium is one of two heart chambers, with the darker ventricle located behind and the pale bulbous arteriosus at the front.